Hello everybody and welcome to the G-Rated Family Gaming Channel. In this episode, I would like to show you guys how to add Nightbot to your live streaming chat and moderation. So it is, there's a couple of steps involved in this. What you're going to want to do first is navigate to Nightbot's YouTube page. It's right here, you can see the link up here. It's a lot of different numbers and I will put that in the description below. So if you, but if you also just go to YouTube and you search Nightbot, you will find his page. He's got 200, over 240,000 subscribers. When you're watching this, who knows, he could have a million by now, but zero content. So you want to get this link to his channel. So come up here, grab that link, control C to copy that. And then what you want to do is go to your live dashboard and here in the live chat on the side, you see these three dots right there. So click on that and then go down to manage moderator moderators. So once you come into this channel, this is where you're going to want to add or remove any of your moderators. You can come in here and at the very bottom of the list, you can click in there and then paste that channel link and you can see that Nightbot shows up. So make sure you click on him, get him added to your list of moderators. Once he is on your list of moderators, there's just a few more steps to go. So make sure he's on there and then click save. What you also want to do is go to Google and then type Nightbot in the search. You can find this link here, https slash or colon slash www.nightbot.tv. So you go to this website and this is where you get Nightbot to log in and this is where you set up all of his configurations. So you click on log in. What you want to do is log in with YouTube. If you're doing Twitch, you can do that as well. And then you want to click the account that you want him to be a part of. Then you want to allow him to have access. So you do that, you do allow, and then what you're going to have here originally is it's going to have this click up here which says uh, join channel. So you're going to want to click on join channel and then there's some instructions here which basically tell you what I, I showed you about getting him on your moderator list. So make sure you have him in your moderator list and he is approved as a moderator. And then once you have that done, then you can close here and he's a part of your channel. So basically he is going to moderate your channel the way you program him to. He has some default settings where he will basically kick people out for excessive caps, excessive emotes, or excessive symbols. However, if you don't like really what the settings are, what you can do is you can come into commands. There's the default commands, which basically people can type these commands. You can set it up so only moderators can do it. You can set it up so only you can do it. Uh, you can, so here for an options, let's see options so this is where you can change some settings so user level only moderators and above can do this uh, they can't do it for 10 seconds you can change all these settings as you like you can also set up custom commands for instance we have over here several custom commands for our buddy say uh, effect if you want to set that up here is edit you can go in there you can put what the message is you can put what the command is you can put who can type it in and how long the cooldown period is. So basically, if somebody in your chat types exclamation effect, then this message will pop up. So it'll tell everybody about my friend effect 2.0. So if you guys wanna do that, you can set up as many custom commands as you want. You can have uh, people know about the different rules. You can set up commands for promoting some of your friends to tell people about the back seats. You can even set it up so that he teaches you how to do a dab. So there's also a lot of different settings here in Nightbot, many capabilities, but those are the basics for getting him on your channel and to get him working right away. One of these tabs that I would recommend going to is spam protection. So you can basically teach him black blacklist words, things that you don't want him to allow, and basically set up all of the configurations for excessive caps. Say someone comes into your channel and you get a raid and they've done a bunch of caps in a raid and everybody got timed out and you don't want Nightbot to be so sensitive. What you can do here in spam protection, go to excessive caps and then options and you can set basically the amount of timeout time people get if they do excessive caps and also the limit. So basically here what I've got here is if somebody has 15 caps in a row, then basically Nightbot will time them out for 20 seconds, and we can also set it to silent so he doesn't say anything, but if you don't have that checked, basically what he'll do is he'll pop up this message and say to the person, hey, please keep the excessive caps down to a minimum, thank you very much. 
But if you've got a whole lot of people in your chat, maybe you don't want Nightbot popping in and saying messages every time he's got to time somebody out. So what you can do is you can set him to silent, and then that gets Nightbot to not create as many messages on your chat. And that might keep your chat from moving super fast so that you end up missing more messages. So if you have a slower chat, I would recommend not having silent on so that people know why they were timed out or why their message was deleted. But if you have a chat that is moving super fast, probably want to set him to silent. Uh, also, same thing with excessive symbols. Say if somebody puts too many exclamation points in a message or at the end of a message, same thing, 20 second timeout. They've got to do 15 of them and uh, basically moderators and the owner are exempt. You can, uh, you can set it up so certain people are exempt from that. So that is the basics of setting up Nightbot. Make sure you get him added to your list of moderators and make sure you come here from your live chat dashboard, click on that to manage the moderators to get there and make sure every time you want him working, you have to make sure that he is logged into your channel. If you come in here and you do part from channel, if you're doing a live stream, he is not going to do his job. So make sure you come in here and he is logged into your channel before you start live streaming and then everything will be taken care of. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you guys have any questions, feel free to put some questions in the comments below and I will do what I can to help you out. Feel free to like and subscribe and comment and I will see you guys later.